Here's a proof you should know for your A-level maths exam. Prove the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series is a times 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. The way I remember how to start this proof is first by multiplying both sides here by 1 minus r. So that means I get s of n times 1 minus r equals a 1 minus r to the n. This bit here becomes sn minus r lots of sn. So this is telling me what I need to do for my proof. So this is just my little jottings there. So let's write the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series. So the first term would be a. The next term in a geometric series, you're multiplying by a common ratio. So this would be plus a r. Then you have a r squared and so on. The second last term would be a r to the n minus two plus the last term a r n minus one. And remember n minus one is the last term because we've got n terms here and a is also a term. Now I need to write the sum up to n multiplied by r. So r lots of s of n equals a r plus a r squared plus a r cubed and so on. The second last term is now a r to the n minus 1 plus a r to the n. Now this is telling me that I have to subtract the second sum by the first. So that means that s n minus r lots of s n equals. Now let's see what's happening here. I've got a and I don't have another a to subtract a from. So that stays where it is. But if I'm doing ar minus ar, that cancels. And these also cancel. So ar cubed would also cancel. ar to the n minus 1 cancels there, which means that ar to the n minus 2 does too. But again, we don't have an ar to the n in the first one to subtract from. So you just have minus ar to the n. Now, I can just reverse what I've done in my first step up here. Factorize out s of n. So I have sn. 1 minus r, and I can factorize out the a here, a 1 minus r to the n, and divide both sides through by 1 minus r, so I get sn equals a 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. And there is my proof done.